welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my favorite videos to film. I say this every time. It's my Will I Buy It series. I am so excited. I film these every other week just so I have like a ton of stuff to talk about. And I have been debating doing a Sinhalese word of the day because Paulina does a Swedish word of the day and I think Nikki Tutorials, I just noticed, I just watched like one of our videos, her proposal, get ready with me because I was like curious about that. Um, so she does the word of the day and I, I had been talking to my friend Amy Loves Makeup here on YouTube and she's like, you should do a word of the day and I'm like, uh. I wasn't, I wasn't sure because, okay, so I don't really speak Singhalese to anyone in my life here in the US or actually at home. My friends and family and my parents all speak English so we speak English a majority or basically all the time. Sometimes we'll go back and forth like it's called like Singlish which is like a mix of English and Singhalese but my whole life growing up I've spoken English at home and basically at school. So when people say to me like, oh, why is your English so good? I'm like, but this like this is normal, like people speak English where I grew up, so I don't, I don't understand. I know it's like a compliment and I know that not everyone knows that like there's, a, like there's quite a few English speakers in the world just because it's like the language of commerce, you know? So anyway, that was a long rant, um, but I do speak another language or I speak my main language and then I speak English, but English is basically my main language because I speak English probably better than I speak Sinhalese. Uh, but I was debating doing a word of the day and so I'm gonna try it out, we'll see how it goes. So the word of the day today is green. Green is my favorite color. And so the Sinhalese word for green is kola. So it's kola. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna put like how to pronounce it, like K-O, kola, kola. So yeah. That's how you say green, and maybe I'll do this again. Let me know how you guys feel about this like word of the day situation. We can try it out. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, let's get to discussing the makeup because, uh, girl, there's a lot of fucking makeup out this this week. So it looks like. I didn't even realize this was Beauty Bakery. I thought this was Benefit. I was literally gonna just ignore this. So Beauty Bakery just launched a new foundation. Are we surprised that? somebody else is coming out with a foundation. This is the Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation and Insta Bake 3-in-1 Concealer by Beauty Bakery. Insta Bake 3-in-1 Concealer, perfect to hide dark circles and scarring, fortified with water binding canvas. The under eye area will be smooth, soothed, and hydrated for $20 each. And then their foundation is a lightweight, vegan, full coverage formula. It applies smoothly like a layer of frosting for $34. It will be available August 25th on Beauty Bakery. You can use code TRENDMOOD for 10% off. So it's launching, looks like it's launching on Ulta first and you can get it now. So that's exciting. How many shades is it? Uh, I missed the memo of how many shades it is. Uh, looks like there's a decent amount. What is, okay, let me count. One, two, three, six times 36 shades from what I can tell. Um, I don't really know that there's a undertone for me. I just like looking at the swatches, I can't tell which one of these shades will work with my skin tone. But you know what? I'm so overwhelmed with foundation. I'm not going to be picking this up. But hey, that's awesome. Like, congratulations to Beauty Makery. Ofra Cosmetics is coming out with a Rodeo Drive collection. This is celebrating three years of Rodeo Drive. They have a Rodeo Drive face and body mist for $25. Rodeo Drive primer. I have freaking fur on my face. Rodeo Drive primer for $20. Lip gloss for $15. And the Anniversary Box $59 special edition set. I am going to be passing on that, but uh, hey, awesome for them. Here is something I am so excited for. I haven't seen the show Power in a long, long time. I used to watch it on, like, I can't remember what app I used to watch it on, but I no longer watch it on that app, so I have no idea what's going on with the show, but oh my gosh, such a great cast. Like, I think 50 Cent produces the show, and it's just like, it's it's great. It's a good show. There's a lot of like sex money drugs <laughs> So I wouldn't recommend kids watching it, but it's a good show Like I said, I really like the show and they are collabing with my one of my favorite indie black owned makeup brands color drain their formula their eyeshadow formula. Oh 
I could like I could like write a song about how good their formula is. So I'm so excited. They're doing a palette for $29, highlighter blush duos for $25, liquid glitter topper for $20, matte liquid lipstick for $17, and then matte bullet lipstick for $17, and lip gloss for $15. So it's quite a big collection. I've never seen Colored Rain do such a big collection. So um, it's really interesting. I feel like just looking at this, I would like to pick up a blush duo, but it's not something I need. The only thing I feel like I'm going for is the palette because I really love Color Grades Formula. They haven't come out with a new palette in quite some time, so I'm really excited for this. My initial reaction to the palette was that it kind of looks like the Queen of Hearts palette, but more condensed. But I posted this on my Instagram. I was like, you guys know I'm a Color Grade slut. Like, I don't care that this looks like the Queen of Hearts palette. I'm gonna buy it no matter what. So I'm really freaking excited for that collaboration. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section because I'm so curious to know if you guys are power fans as well. So KKW launched a warm, natural, cool, smoky, sexy matte collection. I don't even, oh, she just called it the matte collection. So she came out with a matte smoke palette for $45, 10 eyeshadow pens and then a matte cocoa palette for $45 that had you know more brown tones and then she did cocoa eyeliners for $10 each and matte lip liners for $12 each so a bunch of stuff like she's got a lot of stuff in this collection it's a pretty big collection two eyeshadow palettes I've never seen her do that before I think that the smoky palette is pretty revolutionary for the current beauty market I think that if you are very into these shades, I can see you picking this up. I just got her Soul Fire palette, and I like that palette. That's very me. But these don't draw me in. Like, I like the concept. I like that there's something like this for people that want it. But I'm not that person, and I'm okay with it. So even though I collect her palettes, I'm not that, I'm not that worried about picking those up. So... Very exciting for Kim Kardashian. So, Beautylish is having a sale, and I believe the sale ends today when you're watching this video, and there's a bunch of stuff on there. I saw Jeffree Star, Kevin Aquan, Jouer, a number of brands, Natasha Denona. They have a ton of good sales on Beautylish's site. So I will go ahead and link that sale down below if you haven't heard of it. Check it out. I believe it ends today when this video is happening. So just want to let you know that. And then uh, Benefit came out with two new highlighters. I believe these highlighters were in a palette. My nose is itching. I'm sorry. I'm going to be itching my nose through this whole video. And like, ugh, it's so itchy. Okay, so they came out with two highlighters that were in their like cheek palettes. So they have one called Cookie and one called Tickle. Um, Cookie is beautiful. Kind of reminds me of the Melt Genesis highlighter that I'm obsessed with. I don't really buy from Benefit, so this is a pass for me, but I just thought I'd talk about it with you guys in case you were interested. So Trend Mood got a collab. I'm actually surprised that Trend Mood hasn't had a collab before. I know my friend Britt Clark talks about her supposed Ciate collab, which I remember after... Britt mentioned it. I was like, oh yeah, they, they never came through with that. I wonder what happened. And so it's kind of a bummer, but I honestly would rather her have a collab than some of these other very problematic YouTubers. I mean, I guess Trend Mood is technically problematic in her own way, but I feel like for the most part, she's pretty drama free. And it looks like from what I can tell, she's very friendly with a lot of the beauty community, which is nice to, you know, I think that's like something you can admire is somebody that gets along well with many different kinds of people. I think that's a good quality to have. So I'm, I'm very happy for her. And so I can't tell if she created any products from her post. Oh, she said, we added products and shades that are not available at Walgreens. It was very important to me to make sure everyone, no matter what their skin tone, is will is and will be able to go to a store and feel included so i think that's really cool it says it's coming to stores in september she said i know a lot of you were expecting me to actually create new products but i wanted to bring something different something that will help make a change in our beauty industry curate products that we all love that are approved by the trend mood community this is a dream come true and while i'm writing this i have tears in my eyes so i think it's very sweet i think you know what get it girl like everyone else is making coins so you get some coin too so very exciting i love milani as a brand they have some amazing products so 
Good for her. So Lawless came out with some new products. I actually saw these on Sephora today. They came out with a lip slip gloss um, and then a summer skin velvet matte bronzer for $38 and then their lip stuff is like $25. Lawless isn't really a brand that appeals to me. I feel like they cater to a lighter skin tone. I honestly don't have a problem with brands catering to lighter skin tones. That's fine. You know, do you boo like I would rather brands focus on something and nail it than try to like spread the net too wide and then not fulfill anyone's needs you know what I mean but I'm also biased because I don't have the darker skin tone so I don't know how people feel when it comes to issues like that like finding shades that work for you so obviously I'm just sharing my opinion so like you know what lawless like you can do you I don't uh, whatever I don't want to buy another bronzer anyway so Okay, Fenty launched their new foundation. I'm so excited. I am so picking this up during the Sephora sale that starts, I think, on Monday. I refuse to pay a full price for this if I can get it on sale. So it's the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. It's perfect to nor for normal to dry skin. I love their regular foundation, the Pro Matte. So I'm excited for, for the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. 30 five dollars fifty shades i'm here for it they came out with a primer and a brush not getting any of those but i will definitely pick up the foundation during the sale this is another item i plan on picking up on sale i'm so happy for myself that i like restrained myself because i really wanted this palette i don't really love jackie Ina, but i like anastasia and i like having their palettes i like to collect them so i definitely have my eye on this and the fact that i can get it on sale is just the cherry on top of the cake so i will be picking that up for so look forward to a video featuring that and i really want the peach fizz highlighter that's the thing i wanted the most from this collection was the peach fizz highlighter so i will get my hands on those products and videos to come soon okay Too faced is coming out with a <laughs> Oh my god, this is like one of those where it's like you didn't need this palette. This looks just like the Pretty Rich palette. Um, this is the Palm Springs Dreams palette for $45. I went to Palm Springs for a fun weekend with my friends and after a few champagne cocktails and lots of laughs, I came home with inspiration for my new palette. This is what you had as inspiration after you hung out with your friends? Like, you need new friends, bro. Okay, this is like the most like I don't know this is like the cringiest palette launch of this last two weeks it's the it's the reveal of the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette this will be available on September 13th on Urban Decay I feel like this palette was made for somebody like me from 10 years ago I used to love my Naked palette it was like my favorite thing and I'm pretty sure I talked about this in a different video I'm pretty sure my friend bought it for me for my 21st birthday I know it was given to me as a gift and I was so happy that somebody spent like $50 on buying me an eyeshadow palette and I so I feel like I get it like I hate this palette but I get why they did it this isn't for me this is probably not for you but this is for like all the other girls that go to Sephora and they just want like an easy everyday palette this is a great palette for that and I feel like honestly I feel like it's gonna look really beautiful on deep skin tones I do I could be wrong but I feel like that like those colors on my skin tone like trust me girl those those are like great everyday shades for people that have a tan so I don't I don't think it's the worst idea, but I feel like Urban Decay could do more. I feel like they've lost their way a little bit. I feel like they're definitely, like, they used to be such an edgy brand, and I feel like they're playing it so safe these days. And I just wish that, like, I wish so badly that they had thrown some greens in this palette. Like, I would have killed for, like, a deep, deep green and, like, a shimmery golden green. Like, that would have been really cool. Yeah, here I am still waiting for Urban Decay to wow me. Here's another palette where I was like... Okay, the packaging actually is like really pretty <laughs> and uh, I've been buying the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palettes. I have. I keep thinking I'm like a collector of them, but I'm like, Karen, this is getting ridiculous. Like this, like how do you like justify buying this palette? It's literally the most boring looking palette. Actually, this one isn't even the worst of the palettes. I feel like they've definitely done worse palettes than this. 
This one I think at least has a decent amount of like mattes and shimmers whereas some like the Leo palette was like what was that? There was so many shimmers. Um, but this is the new BH Cosmetics Zodiac Virgo palette and it's $14 and it is available so you can pick it up. ColourPop came out with a new collection. This is their rainbow collection. Is anyone surprised that they're coming out with new stuff? Um, so I was actually watching that girl Shay's ColourPop video on this particular launch and she said from this rainbow palette only seven shades are new. So there's Worth It, Looking Fresh, Hold Me Down, No Scrubs, Brick Road, Hard Place, and Bright Tempo. Honestly, $40 for this palette isn't that bad because seven new shades and ColourPop single shadows I think are five bucks a piece. So really you're gonna spend $35 if you buy those shades individually. So you might as well spend $5 extra and buy. Honestly, like I feel like they made it so affordable that it makes sense to buy the $40 palette and have all those shades. And you can give the backups to a friend or if you're too bored to like or lazy to rearrange your other palettes. Just who gives a shit, like honestly, like $40 and then you could use Afterpay and like split up your payments. Like this is not that, <laughs> this is not that expensive. Like this is not that serious. Um, but yeah, a lot of it's just repackaged stuff and the packaging is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know. I just, I really wish that ColourPop would curate some, my nose. I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to pick my nose on the internet, but it's so itchy. Um, so I just feel like I love ColourPop, don't get me wrong, I don't mind that they come out with new stuff every week, but I want to see them progress, I want them to innovate, I want to see multi-chromes, I want to see, I mean they've come out with a lot of really innovative stuff, so I'd like to see like what's next, what's next, and I would like to see them take time and make better product instead of like churning out like things every week but that's just my opinion you know they can do whatever they want I don't think I've ever filmed a video with an itchy nose this is gonna be so embarrassing tomorrow okay so Too Faced and there's like a whole bunch of new launches on um Ulta this week so Too Faced came out with a 2D um some additions to their 2D fruity line there's a juicy watermelon candy finish lip gloss for $20 each better than sex mascara watermelon slice face and eye palette for $42. This was confusing to say the least. Like it's really cute packaging, but like what is that? Like who is buying that? Stop it. Stop it. Seriously. And then Stila Hide and Chic Fluid Foundation, $39 buildable coverage, natural sanitary finish, blah 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 blah. Oh, I'm so sick of foundations. Also, I won't buy anything from Stila anytime soon. Physicians formula, 24 karat gold collagen setting spray, as well as the rose all day petal glow so they came out with some new highlighters I did see those at a Walgreens as well as a Walmart so I don't know I don't think I need to buy those but you know some people like these things Zoewa is now on Ulta like there's so many new things that launch at Ulta this week so very exciting Lemonhead LA did a I don't know this is like a bundle I think of glitters and they called it the euphoric glitter squad $75 for these glitters. It's beautiful, but I have one Lemonhead LA glitter and I never use it, so I'm not gonna spend $75 on a bunch of glitters, guys. Like, mm -mm, not happening. So Juno & Co is expanding. They have that sponge that people love and now they're going into a setting powder as well as a brush collection. These will all launch on August 15th, so it's already launched, right? Yep, already launched and exciting. I don't need any of that stuff, but it's exciting. So um, Ulta did announce their 21 days of beauty sale that's coming up. So this will start September 1st and end on September 21st. So September is going to be a busy month. I will definitely do a video talking to you about products that I would recommend for the sale. So that'll be a separate video. Watch out for that in case you guys are planning on shopping the sale. So this was like the big announcement uh, between my... Previous Will I Buy It and this one, it's the Jeffree Star Morphe collab. I think they announced it, was it right after my Will I Buy It video went up, I believe? And then it launched and here we are talking about it. So at first I hated this palette. I thought it was disgusting. I still think it's disgusting. I bought it because I'm a savage and I saw um, somebody swatch it on deeper skin tone and I was like, ooh, that's actually really beautiful. And I went into it thinking like it's Jeffree Star so he wouldn't like fuck it up as far as quality goes. 
I feel like I could trust Jeffree Star. I could be wrong, but we'll see how it goes. And then, you know, there was this whole controversy about his code and the price point, like him saying that Jeffree Star Cosmetics couldn't do a palette at this price point, which just so you guys know, once I paid shipping and used his code, I still spent 40 bucks on this palette, which that's the part I'm mad about is that I spent the money. But I'm also like, I don't know, you guys, I do this to myself all the time. I mean, somebody gave me the James Charles and Morphe palette. Like, I think Morphe is so problematic, but I still buy from them because it's like, I don't know. So, I'm curious. I'm very, very curious. I'm very skeptical, but yeah, I seeing it on a deeper skin tone really made me want it. And... You know what? If you guys want to judge me, that's fine. I would judge me too. Like, I should have stayed strong, but I was so curious. And then he also did come out with some other stuff. There was a brush set, a new setting spray that's like strawberry scented, blotchy, blah, blah, blah. I don't even, yeah. I don't know. I feel kind of bad that I bought it. I'm going to be very honest because I don't believe the crap about like, oh, this is such a great price point. Because it's not. It's still expensive. $40, whether you give it to Jeffree Star directly or you give it to Morphe so they give it to Jeffree Star directly. You know, that's really the choice you're making. So, anywho's. Okay, so Marc Jacobs came out with a new collection. It's called Glam Rock. And I've seen this stuff on Sephora's Just Arrived section. And, uh, eh, you know, it's nice. It's Marc Jacobs. The packaging is cute, but... It's nothing that's really calling my name. This I thought is so cute. I love Ingrid Nielsen. I don't really watch her too much, but I follow her on Instagram. And she is collabing with Fresh Beauty to create a Fresh Sugar in the City Blackberry Tint Lip Balm with SPF 15. And it is limited edition, $24. I really like the Fresh Lip Balms. I have the clear ones. I like those because I don't really like wearing tinted lip balm. But I do think this is like a beautiful, universally flattering shade and I'm so excited for Ingrid for this collab. She's like a YouTube OG, you know? So she really deserves a collab. I don't know if she's done a lot of like makeup collabs before, but I think this is one of those collabs that makes sense. It's very her. It's not like an eyeshadow palette. She doesn't do a lot of heavy makeup. She's very natural and pretty and I feel like this is like the perfect pairing. Um, collabs like this that make sense, we should really celebrate those because there's not a whole lot of them in the beauty community these days. Okay, Smashbox came up with new cover shot palettes. These cover shot palettes, they're like um, zombies in the show, what is it called? The Dead People Show? Dead? Walking Dead. They're like the Walking Dead. They like don't stop. It's just, it just keeps fucking coming and we're like, please sir, no, no more cover shot. I've literally never heard anyone buy these and say they love them like say like go buy it spend all your hard-earned cash I've never heard somebody say that so anyway there's a shade called denim and a shade called desert 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 <laughs> desert like the desert where it's you know there's no rain and stuff mm, there's like one interesting shade in the shade in the palette desert it's that olive khaki green shade other than that it's like a whole snooze fest Okie dokie, Menagerie Cosmetics is coming out with camouflage, concealers, and setting powders. Seven shades of powder and 20 shades of concealer. Um, this is exciting. I really like that, you know, Trend Mood has been posting about Menagerie a lot. So hopefully it's, you know, given them some growth. I believe it's just the owner and her husband that run the company. And they do a phenomenal job. Like, they are a great small business. So if you are on the hunt for a concealer from a lesser known brand, I would recommend checking that out. I don't plan on picking that up, but I'm excited for them. Okay, I low-key want this, but I saw somebody do a video with this palette because she had found it at a store, and I was not impressed. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Opposites Attract Earth and Ocean palette. 18 shades, shimmery and mattes for $14. It says it will be available August 25th online at Elf Cosmetics and Target. So it's a beautiful concept. Oh, I wish somebody else with like a better formula would make this palette. Like even if Wet n Wild did this, I would be a little more excited than Elf because I don't have a lot of hope for this palette just based off of that video I saw. I can't remember whose it was, but I just looked up Earth and what? Earth and Ocean on YouTube and hers was the video that came up so 
check it out if you're interested. I am going to be passing on that. Unless I find it at my local Target, then I can see it in person and buy it. Especially because if I don't like it, I will return that sucker. Like, I, mm, I don't have time. I don't have time for crappy makeup. I'm sorry. Or money. I'm sorry. Okay. So, Sugar Pill came out with a new eyeshadow palette. It is a fun size eyeshadow palette. It includes nine matte shades. $28, a limited edition fun size sticker sheet. While supplies la uh, last, this one is already out and I stayed so far away from this. I don't like the sugar pill formula. There's a lot of people on YouTube that like the formula. I say to you, if you have been wanting to try the sugar pill formula, don't do what I did. Don't go buy the 120 something dollar pro palette buy this palette, save yourself some money, you'll get to try the formula, you'll get to see if you like it, and then you can invest in a pro palette because I do not like the formula by pro palette. I'm toying with the idea of filming a video with it so you guys can see how the eyeshadows perform on my eyes. I feel like maybe it's possible that I got a bad batch. Like my eyeshadows are so crumbly, they're so dry, they're so patchy. I don't know what Kool-Aid everyone is drinking because I would like some of that Kool-Aid because I deeply regret spending that kind of money on a full-blown pro palette. So if you're not sure, do yourself a favor. Just buy yourself the cheaper palette, okay? Trust me on that. Okay, Kevin Aquan came out with a new foundation. It's called the Foundation Bomb. It's a full coverage foundation with an innovative silky bomb texture. I started watching Mel's video on this and then I don't know what happened. I don't remember if she liked it or not. I think she liked it. So 20 shades for $52 each. I am drowning in foundation right now, so I'm going to be passing on that. But if you guys are interested in that, let me know down in the comments because I'd be really curious to hear your thoughts on the foundation. So Violet Voss came out with two new palettes. There is a palette called She's Electric 2 and then a Coral Crush palette. The Electric palette is $30 and the Coral palette is $42. I saw both of these are now on Sephora's website, so I was toying with the idea of picking out the all matte palette, but I just ordered the Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro 2 palette, and it's on its way to me for Beauty Bay, so I think that I'm going to pass on this bright colored matte palette because that bright colored matte palette is going to keep me busy for a long, long time. I'm so excited because I've seen nothing but good things on that palette, so if that palette is bad, I'm going to be pissed, <laughs> like, honestly, because I saw so many people make videos about how good they thought the palette was, so I'm really, really excited for that. So I had talked about this in my previous video, and now you can actually pick these up. These are the Milk Cosmetics Undertone Nudes. Uh, liquid lipsticks. They're $65 for the PR box or $19 each. I really like the shade Golden and Ginger, but Ginger I have a hundred times over in my collection. Golden I feel like is one of those things I get excited about, but once I actually got it in my hands, I probably use it a few times and forget all about it. So I'm choosing to pass on that collection, which is fine because I have a majority of those shades and then Sephora decided that they were gonna have a summer save event so on August 19th through the 27th you can get 20% off using the code summer save if you're rouge and then August 20th to the 27th if you are VIB you get 15% off which is amazing like thank you that's awesome like I have a few little things I want to pick up from Sephora so I'm excited to be able to pick them up on sale. Like, that's awesome. Soul Body came out with a new product. It is a glow oil. And I just picked up their other glow situation, so I don't know what the difference is between a glow oil and a glow, glow dry oil. I'm already so confused with the makeup and the body situations. It's in the same shades as the previous product. I'm happy with the one I have. I'm not gonna buy more things, but I just wanted to tell you that they're coming out with a oil. Okay, so there is a teaser that Makeup by Mario is coming out with his second collab with KKW Beauty, so definitely keep your eye out. I have the first palette, and I'll be really curious to see what the second palette is like. I think Mario really nails it, so yeah, I'm happy for him. So Fenty Beauty is coming out with brow products. They're coming out with fine brow pencil and styler in 14 different shades, August 23rd online and at Sephora. So I'm not really into pencil eyeliners, um, so I'm going to be passing on this, but I had heard 
from a lot of redheads that they're really excited because there's like a variety of different red shades, which I think is definitely a commendable thing. Um, Carly Bible's collab with Il Maquillage is now available. So she came out with some liquid, um, with some lipsticks, some glosses, and lip liners. I think these are gorgeous. I don't need any more lip products, but I think they are very, very beautiful. Okay, guys, here is like the roast with the most. This is the new gingerbread spice palette by Too Faced. I believe this is like their holiday launch. And of course, it's launching in September because, uh, I mean, what makes more sense than launching a holiday palette in September? Uh, yeah, this was so funny because so many people thought they were just showing the original palette over again. And honestly, I personally feel like the original original has more interesting shades than this one does. This definitely reminds me of how they did the chocolate bar and then they did the semi-sweet because I thought the semi-sweet was definitely like the duller, less fun sister <laughs> of the chocolate bar family. So yeah, I don't know. It's it's pretty stale. I don't, I don't, I'm sure it'll do really well because you know, there's people out there that just love a good neutral palette. I just, oh man. Like, I just, I don't know why Too Faced thinks, like, that that's their, you know, money maker is just doing the same palette over and over and over again, doing the same concept over and over again. Okay, so, like I had mentioned earlier, Zoeva is now available at Ulta Beauty. I've seen them adding products over the last week on Ulta's website, so that's been pretty cool to see. I'm not planning on picking anything up from them. I'd be curious to try, like, an eye brush set if something comes in that's at a good price point, but nothing I'm rushing out to get right now. Persona Cosmetics came out with their Identity 2 palette. They reveal the shades and now it is available for purchase. I kind of talked about how I thought it was pretty boring the last time I filmed this video. Okay, I don't think I talked about this last time I filmed this video, but Milk Makeup also came out with a new foundation. They came out with a Flex foundation stick and a Flex highlighter, 36 shades for the foundation stick. This actually looks like a fun foundation, but I don't need it. They're highlighters. I saw Trend Mood swatch them and they looked so shiny and beautiful. So I definitely have my eye on that, but I won't be picking those up. I just thought it was really, really cool. Okay guys, I am exhausted. That was so many new makeup products. Holy moly. What do you guys think we have in store for the rest of the year? Because I'm really contemplating a no buy for September and October because I have so many things to do and I'm so broke you guys. It's like ridiculous right now because it seemed like every expense came through in the month of August and I'm just like, oh my god, it's not even over yet. I still have to like Anyway, I'm excited for all the upcoming trips I have planned, um, but yeah, I'm definitely contemplating a no buy um, for September, October, and then potentially just like not really buying too much in the next few months. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on everything down below. You guys know I love chatting with you in the comments. I'm like stretching while I'm doing this outro because I feel like I've been hunching for like an hour and filming videos, but I will catch you guys in my next one soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me and um, just thank you for being awesome subscribers and YouTube friends. I love you guys so, so much and have a wonderful Sunday with your friends and family. Bye!